Good morning. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> it is our live, and we are so excited to be here with you this morning. We want to talk about, you know, the with the holidays and gatherings coming, we want to um, go over some just strategies for doing it well. And first, yes. you should know that whenever we're talking about this stuff, we're reminding ourselves. We don't have this stuff mastered. Exactly. We're reminding ourselves while we verbalize it. The truth you. is this is a struggle for a lot of people. I almost said everybody, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people. I know it's yeah. been a struggle for me in all the different areas, but it especially I think comes out during the holidays. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to put some notes down. <laughs> um, about mindset uh, during the holidays and then we are also going to tackle a fun little project using our trimmings mold and actually a few molds but we are going to um we're, we're getting spam oh okay hold on oh good it looks like it nope nope hold on block user okay sorry if we have a lot of and there it is again Okay, sorry if we have a lot of spam, you guys. This, this happens sometimes, just ignore it. Do not click on anything at all um, that isn't directly from us, okay? <laughs> Even if they say it is, so yes. that caveat. Um, but yeah, we wanna pop, you just kind of like pop from project to mindset talk and just hang out with you guys. It's been a minute since we've been able to hang out with you. And I have been looking forward to this all week and since we knew we were gonna do it. And so I'm really excited to get started this morning. Hi, Susan and Joanne. Yes. Um, okay, so we've got some questions coming in. Oh, we're all you, alone Shelley. today. Welcome. I don't, we don't have anyone to read questions, so I will do my best. And we will pop back in afterwards yes. and engage with any questions that we miss because it gets bump, bump in and we, mm -hmm. we do miss the questions. That is so true. So we kind of sure. set up talking about the um, events and the holidays and the gatherings. We set up kind of a little like some points to hit on. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Priorities. Mm -hmm. um, planning and peace oh, or three. Look at you alliterating. alliterating. Wayne would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> My husband um, was a pastor for 20 years and he loves alliteration. So we had yes. him about that. Yes. Okay, so, so yeah, let's, um, do we wanna start the project and so we can actually be chatting while it's setting up? Whatever you think Okay. Is with me. Okay. Well, let's do that then. And I'll keep it. You're kind of leading on the on the project, so I'll kind of. I have a hard time thinking of something else and also doing a project, but um, that's okay because there's two of us. So. <laughs> well, I do too. So that's why I'm thinking we just get it started and okay. then talk. Okay. Not do and talk because I can't do that. Okay. I'm I can't sure. even drive and talk. It's bad. My kids will... love both your haircuts and hair colors. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. They are new. We both got our hair cut. Obviously, Josie was more brave than me. She she went short. Yeah. I went shorter, but not as short as she did. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we actually today for the napkin rings. We are going to be using, this is amazing cast resin, and it's a two-part resin that you mix together, and then that activates it, and then you stir it and pour it into your molds. I love amazing cast resin, but there are some things you have to keep in mind about it. You want to make sure they're completely even because each part has its purpose. And if you don't mix them perfectly even, they won't set up right. Yes. Okay. So I am going to do the trimming mold. Will you hand it to me over there? And I'm going to show you. I Our trimming mold is one of my 
top favorites. If you don't have any IOD yet and you want to start exploring the molds, highly recommend the trimmings because it's so versatile. I have made earrings out of this. I have made, um, I used it the, for trimmings. The dipped cookie sticks. The dipped cookies. In a clean food mold. Not We don't use the same one for right. resin and cooking. Yeah, have one in your so kitchen, one safe. in your craft room. Yeah. And I have, and today we're going to be using it to make, um, oh, bracelets. I've seen people make bracelets. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be making napkin rings. I am yes. going to use, we're shaking um, our tables. sorry, one of my favorite is this one with all the delicate florals mm -hmm. because it's so incredibly detailed, which you'll get to see. And... Um, I use it again and again. That's the one I made earrings out of. And I just use part of the mold and cut them and they're so darling. And so we will get started. I'm gonna switch our camera view so that you guys can see what we're doing here. And there we go. It's a messy table because when I was prepping yesterday, I did not clean up after I prepped for a fresh surface. So I apologize, but sometimes we have to show up even if it's imperfectly, which we're going to be talking about a little bit today. Oh, this is a great example of, yes. the, of some of the points. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a, if it's, I feel both. Like... it's a don't do this example <laughs> and a do this example. I think we can pull out of it. Or <laughs> yeah, it's almost like there's, there's a balance like everything in life, right? There's a balance between preparedness and anyway, I'm gonna talk over our points if I get started. Okay, so I am pouring these. I have a side view. So when you're doing yours, you will have a side view. There are different ways to be exact in measurement. Josie actually prefers to use a kitchen scale. I simply eyeball it, um, but I'm very particular about eyeballing it. So I eyeball it very, very particular. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, well, that's, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm going to err on the side of doing too much this morning. And I, if I make too much, I just pour it in a different mold. I don't waste it. Um, so that I just have extras for later. Okay. And, oh, that was a little too much. So now I got to put no. a little bit more here. <laughs> Who's seen the Burton Ernie Licorice episode? <laughs> you brought that up last I know, time I it's just so this. applicable. And I feel like, does it, it, did it make an impression on anyone else like it made on me? <laughs> okay, that is pretty exact. <laughs> pretty, pretty exact. That is, that pretty. is so you. <laughs> I'm like, let's use this digital scale and then it's exact. <laughs> but It's pretty exactly right. Did you um, move the spoon, the little baby spoon I was it's, using? Yeah, it's on the floor over there. Oh, okay. I'll grab it. Okay. I just sometimes, are you guys this way where you just grab whatever? You, you're not using the proper tools. So make sure this doesn't go back into baby spoon gen pop. <laughs> true, true. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, welcome, Timeless Charm by Kate. I'm going to call you Kate because I'm assuming that's your name. Welcome to our first, your first live with us. Welcome. Okay, so then I'm gonna mix them together. Yeah, you, when you're doing a small amount like that, you probably really wanna make sure that you get a thorough empty yeah. of the one side. And so I'm gonna stir it, and what happens is it will get white and cloudy and then it will go back clear. And Josie's right. When you have a small amount like that, you're working kind of quickly. You see how it already got clear? Okay, so now I am going to pour it in my flower trimmings here. And I'm going to pour it into the whole thing so I get straight edges. Oh, look at me guessing just perfect. I feel that's like good. that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And uh, you can't see as well, but, and what Hi, will Cassandra. happen? Hello. From the porch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the con porch. Y'all probably have seen her doing IOD TV. Yes. She does such a neat project. Yes, she does. She's a doll. 
And so yesterday when I was doing this, I told you guys I had, you know, you just pour it into extra molds um, if you have extras. So I made myself some earrings. I was, I had that, you want to hand me the farmhouse mold so I can show them what, um, where I got these. So this is our, our um, farm village market. It's farm animals. And we have these cute little um, floral cavities on the sides of it. And so I just poured them in there, and I'm going to make myself some darling little earrings. Dude, those wheat sheaves, wheat Ooh. bundles would be really cute, boho earrings. They too. sure but would. They, and they curve perfectly for each side to kind of yes. go. There. Now you can see that better, the detail. That would be really cute, actually. Mm -hmm. So would, honestly, so would the cow head. Like, if you did just the head, that would be cute, too. Okay. Yeah, that Definitely, and it goes. So what will happen is this will start to get white and cloudy. I'm gonna move this back. There we go. So you can see the whole thing. There we go. That's better. And it will. Um, and it takes a minute. So we're gonna just start our chat while that's setting up. So I'm gonna switch the view back to us again. So that we can look in your guys' eyeballs. Careful, that almost went in there. Okay. Um, and when you're work, so the catalyzation of the two parts are a heat um, process. So like they get hot as they're catalyzing and as they're starting to get cloudy again and then white. You can, and especially if it's smaller cavities, um, you can kind of help expedite that a little bit with like gentle heat like i have a my range hood has heat lamps on it and sometimes i'll i'll put the mold itself on a flat cookie sheet and then set that under the heat lamp so that it, it warms it and mm -hmm. that can kind of help expedite it a little bit so you can yeah. see oh there it goes yes yeah. and um so okay let's 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 just start our chat and then we'll break when it's ready sounds good um and as I was thinking this morning about this subject, it actually brought me to the story of Mary and Martha. And here's some here here's something for you guys. Regardless of your faith and where you are with that or your worldview, the Bible has so many principles that are life-giving. Um, and applicable. So I thought, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like this doesn't apply to them because regardless, this definitely will resonate, I think, with this, this concept. And that is the story of Mary and Martha, if you guys are familiar, is um, Jesus was traveling to the village and Martha invited him to come in and probably his disciples too. I don't know if it says that, but probably um, to come in for a meal. And so he did. And the short version is actually it's a short story. So it's the full version. But Martha was busy preparing. She was cleaning and she was baking and she was she wanted everything to be perfect. I, probably. I feel like she was a teeny bit salty. Well, see, here's the thing. With I don't think she started salty. But when Mary she was serving happily, when Mary wasn't jumping in to help, then she, she started getting salty. And it's it makes me wonder. And we've all been, this is where this is our point of talking today. We've all been there where we start happily. We want to serve. We want the house to be beautiful for everybody. So we're decorating for the holidays or we're getting ready for that meal, the Thanksgiving meal, whatever it is. We want everything to be perfect and we're doing it from a place of joy and excitement on and love. We're just loving on our, our family. And then somewhere along the lines, same Valeria, stress creeps in and then that tends to escalate to bitterness. And I think too that you have to really be careful or self-aware about like where your motivation's coming from because even though we can start with joy like Sal said mm -hmm. and that's like where that's where we're starting at sometimes I think pride like you look Ooh, at pride versus service 
And I know for me, and like you said, most of us struggle with this. I know for me, I can quickly jump over from wanting to, because I love cooking. I love preparing. I love doing those gatherings, but it can quickly turn from a heart of service and love to yeah. a heart of pride. And I can think of a recent example. <laughs> <laughs> share. Share. Do share. So I like my food to be perfect. I really do. But I've gotten pretty good at not letting it um, control my peace um, for the most part. Er, recently, er, we were triggering, I think it was like a prime rib, a really good piece of meat that I was super excited about. <laughs> and I instructed, I'm, I'm thoughtful about instructing. <laughs> I instructed Aaron, we need to pull it at 135 or one, whatever it was. I told him the exact when to pull it. We have the internal meat thermometer on there and that's perfect. And I am kind of picky about not overcooking our beef. And he, everybody was busy, including Aaron. He was doing all the things and stuff. And he, um, he said, okay, I pulled it. it. It's good. It's done. And I said, oh, great. What temperature it was, was it? And he said it was about, about 10 degrees above what I had instructed him to pull it. And he said, oh, it was like da 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 And I was like, I told you what temperature to pull it at. And it was 10 degrees less than that. And I had to really be mindful about not letting that just take over. <laughs> it yes. really bugged me because I was like, ah. So, so. I, I feel like there is a takeaway for today in this, in this discussion. Being very self-aware yeah. of where your mind is at in the moment. Mm -hmm. And when you transition, when, ooh, 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 we're, we're going from joyful to prideful or joyful to stressful yeah. or whatever your struggle is, yeah. um, you can usually, if you are intentional to be keenly aware of your, where you're at, Mm -hmm. it will be easier for you to stay, remind yourself mm -hmm. um, what the point is. That's What's whole, your priority? That's the whole thing. What is the point? And so yeah. many times we can kind of fool ourselves a little bit. Like, I just want it all to be perfect. Well, for everybody the reality else. is that if you are salty and you're not showing up being engaged and yeah. having, you know, joy. Yeah. You're not serving. Nobody people. cares about your stupid beef at that point. <laughs> at, well, that's they're the just having a miserable time because you're making everyone miserable. You defeat your whole purpose. <laughs> I know. And we've all been we've all been in that place of we're the ones that are like in indulging our own saltiness. Mm -hmm. Um and we've been at, at events where other people are maybe doing that. And yeah. I love I know that the best experience for my guests are me is means I'm going to be present and enjoying the space with them, not yes. bringing stress and tension into it. Yes. Will you click that? Cause I, I wanted to read, I had a note there. I wanted to share. Um, also. Okay. I love in the, um, do you have ESC on here? I was just going to quickly read, read the story. Will you read it? It's, it's Luke chapter 10, verse 38. I'm just going to quickly read the story because there's a part of it and a word that I want to share with you guys. And it's such a good word. And it talks about um, our portion. And hopefully the ESV uses that yes, terminology. Yes, go to the, whoops, to the actually library while she's I, doing that you guys i'm going to flip the view so you can see and i'll take this off and this is a good transition point so i'm going to flip the view and we're going to go like this luke i'm sorry go ahead and put it on okay um so well i'll do it in just a second so now you guys can see it's all white but it's still warm and that is key for our project today because you want it to be still warm so that it's flexible and you oops is a little there um, let me see if it is ready. It might not quite be ready. A little, Just a tiny a bit. More. Let me see. Cause yesterday it seemed like, okay. Yeah. Maybe a little more. See how I'm pulling away at the edges and it's coming with it. You want it to actually have more of a pop. 
yeah. pop out. So, but it's a fine line between this and when you don't want to let it cure completely because we need it to be flexible. So we'll go ahead and find this um, verse and I'm going to read it to you guys. Totally, um, Jamie. Jamie says, and sometimes I get salty when I'm tired. It's true. And you know, it can easily pop us in that space when we're there's a ton of cooking to do and i personally love that i'll be two days cooking and, and doing all the things and i love it but i will admit when my kids or my husband if they're not tracking with me and being helpful it's i can quickly get salty <laughs> yes okay this is a very quick story so indulge me you guys um, now as they went on their way jesus entered a village and a woman named martha welcomed him into her house and she had a sister called Mary so this is kind of a tale of two sisters who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching but Martha was distracted with much serving and she went up to him and said Lord do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone <laughs> so somewhere in between inviting him in and this moment she transitioned um, Okay, tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion. That's the part that really got me. And, and did it take a minute maybe for Martha to like receive that probably? <laughs> Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. And that is what I want to really impart on you guys and us, um, all of us together today, to, to not accept less than the good portion. Mm -hmm. And that points back to the priorities. Yes. What, like, what is the What, what is, is the your purpose? purpose? What is your priority? Mm -hmm. um, and I think for me, and it might be different for everybody, but I think relationship. Connection. Connection. Mm -hmm. Is, honoring the purpose of whatever the holiday is yes, that you're right together for. what you're what you're celebrating mm -hmm. um and being together with that and so remember that as you are uh, preparing and doing all the wonderful things to make such a beautiful space and meal mm -hmm. um for everybody just remember the good portion you want the good portion for you yeah. you want the good portion for your guests mm -hmm. so that just really i just love that word i do too and this applies just in so many ways in our lives because you know we we circle around events and you you think of like weddings so much of what goes into weddings oh yeah so many times is laced with conflict <laughs> yes because this is the day and it's got to be just right and all the different things and when it comes down to it the things that your guests whether it's a wedding or whether it's a gathering in your home the things that resonate and last with your guests is how you made them feel um the connection those are the things yes that those are the good the good things so. yes my Shell Bell Creations asked, what version is this? This is the uh, English Standard Version. Yes, and it's going to word it differently in the different versions. Um, but for whatever reason, I just love the phrase, the good portion. Because it's it's just, I don't know. It has, it's a good word picture because you're yeah. choosing your portion. What portion are you going to, to take? Okay, so I think we are warm in here. So I'm going to flip it again. Hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. This is such a fun project today, you guys. Um, and we thought for hospitality and talking about hospitality, that napkin rings would be a fun project to do. So let's see how we're doing. Oh, did you see that pop? Look at it. Isn't that nice? That's clean. Yeah, bring it up to it's the not as you pull it away. Okay. I always have a hard time with the camera angle. I okay. would take the camera down, but then I know setting Let's, it back up is like. But look, yeah. So, so you see how it's really flexible. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this in half, and we're gonna get two napkin rings out of this. And I'm not. I'm just gonna guesstimate this. Hey, hold on. If you do oh that, my gosh. then you fine. Can... Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There, so it's it's more even now. Okay. 
Look at these. Now, you have a lot of window here. I noticed yesterday as I was making these, um, they take quite a while to cure. But look at how cute are these. Isn't that adorable? Look at Thank you, Michelle. So, and while it's drying, I actually use, you could use the inside of um, like a cookie, a biscuit cutter or a cookie cutter or something. I had these, these are just little cutters that we had for clay. And I just found, I think I used, no, that's too small. You know what I ended up using actually was the inside of this and it was perfect. So you, these do not have to meet. Mine yesterday did. So you'll see um, that the one that I had yesterday did meet the this seam, but it doesn't have to. So this one's not going to because I cut it in half instead so that I could get two out of it. Mm, okay. But you certainly, a lot of napkin rings actually are open True. At yeah. the, on the other side. So that's they fine too. Yep. Skimpy napkins or... So I just use that. And you can use like the inside of a toilet paper tube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or the outside. You can put it around the outside and just rubber band it mm -hmm. if you want. So there's a lot of ways. While it's drying, though, um, you want to have it be in the curved shape that you want it to stay in. And I left mine overnight. So I'm going to go get it. It's actually painted now and um and drying so i'm gonna go get it right now i'll be right back okay hot shop <laughs> yes you can tape it absolutely oh look at you guys you're all on it rohini joy said or you can tape it so true um i would think masking tape would work great or blue tape totally is that fun and she did another one over here that I love. This is my favorite. It's with the olive, the olive um, wreath half is what this one came out of. And I really love it. In fact, I told her I want to paint this one gold while you're working on the terracotta because okay. yeah, I happened it. to see... Um, it was a reel on IG Instagram, an anthropology reel, and the napkin rings she used, I'm just stretch across here, were did, gold. Did you show them which mold I got that from? Yes. Okay. I sure did. Uh, that is the olive crest mold. So here is the finished one, guys. Okay. Painted. Painted. Yeah, but not finished. There. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it? I love this color. I wanted to paint it like a terracotta color. So I mixed several colors together. And what we're going to do is in the um, description of this video or the comments, I'm not sure which it's going to let me do, but one or the other, we are going to put some paint formulas of um, the three uh, top paint brands that our stockists carry. And that is uh, Annie Sloan DIY by Debbie Beard and Fusion. So those three paint um, are the most commonly used. So we will put some paint formulas in to get this pretty terracotta color. Now, ideally I would paint this with two coats of paint, but I came in this morning and had to paint it because I wasn't realizing that it needed to dry before waxing. So um, I didn't have time to do two coats. So this is actually probably not dry enough as well. So I'm gonna be really gentle with this white. Oh, did I, I did clear, I need white wax. I wanna do some white wax um, to make it look more terracotta. So, and um, I actually got this idea from uh, Lynn Brundage of Ellen J Goods. She has she did some terracotta pumpkins that were darling, and she uses fusion. So she had a oh no, she used a DIY paint, and she had a great formula for the DIY for the but, terracotta for the terracotta. But I did not have the colors I needed for the DIY. So um, I used uh, the Annie Sloan, and I have. We'll put that formula in there too, because I know a lot of you use that. So, let's 
yes. This is this so what we call the stinky gold oh. paint. <laughs> That's and right. Use it and it in a is place stinky. That is well ventilated. Yeah. But okay. it is it is bougie and I think it looks so pretty on this um, the olive crest. Mm -hmm. it sure does. Okay. Make sure you're in the mm -hmm. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Just using a little bit. Mm. Okay, so the ne are you ready to move on to the next? Yeah, yeah. Plan ahead. That was one that I popped down there. Yeah. And plan by planning ahead. I Jamie mean, mentioned that's what she does. She starts a yeah. month ahead. Yeah. Well, so many of the things can be um, cooked. One of the things I do a lot is um, if I'm making a like a yeast bread rolls or cinnamon rolls, I'll do them um, the day before, um, but not bake them until the day of. And just simple little things like that, um, where you're getting a good bulk of the work done in advance. And I know that's really an obvious tip, but I think that we it don't. It makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference. And we don't typically take advantage of that or do that as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And it really alleviates a lot of the pressure. That is one of my biggest struggles in life. <laughs> Not just in terms of preparing for the holidays. I yeah. tend to leave everything until the last minute. And I do not um, plan ahead or budget my time appropriately. And so I push myself up against a wall and then everyone else has to pay for it. So I'm really in my latter years uh -oh. trying to be better about that. What'd you do? Oh, your new manicure. It's okay. All right. Uh, so here's one thing I'm noticing back to the napkin ring here. Use a clean wax brush when you're trying to white wax. I had some dark wax and it's really taking away from the white. It's more of a gray wax. But we wanted so, to instruct you on that specific point and demonstrate yeah. what happens if you don't. That's exactly <laughs> why I did that. That's exactly why I did that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off and then I have a clean brush. It's a paint brush, but I'm going to use it for waxing so that we can maybe get a little more white because it really does add to the terracotta look if it's actually white. So let me go get a nice soft blue shop cloth. What are some of the things that you all make ahead in advance? And some things like uh, you could do well, and like Jamie said, she starts a month in advance. That is awesome. And I think that's really smart. It's So for me, it would be thinking about, okay, what are the things that I can start doing in advance what recipes don't um degrade or lose quality if they're done ahead and frozen um and things like that so share some of your guys's you know what yeah you guys share you know what i do i buy the pre-made meals now josie would never think of doing that and that's okay if if you really love to cook and that yeah would not, not work I'm not for you. against that at all but I, I just enjoy yeah. they have some pretty darn good pre-made meals nowadays and oh, we yeah. buy Bel Air or Rayleigh's it might be there's um, no shame there there's no shame in the vibe like, <laughs> in the pre-made pre meal game. they're actually a lot of times the same ingredients they're just all portioned out for you ahead so they're still fresh ingredients it's not pre-made food so I love it it has an instruction sheet and I don't have to think about it and we've been doing that now for about five years and it really works for us nice that's a that's a definitely like a super practical yeah tip okay now that is all painted but where I go crazy and spend too much time is actually in the decorating and gift making and things like that. That's where I need more. That's where I tend to overdo it. Somebody asked what, what gold paint is. So, oh, 
Yeah. What this is, is just, it's craft smart. Um, there's multiple brands that are the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, almost exactly the same thing. So at any craft supply store, you could also gold leaf them as well. And that would um, be beautiful. And actually gold leaf is obviously always the ultimate, mm -hmm. but you can kind of mimic the look with paint or some of the metallic waxes and what have you. So after this is more dry, I'll put our napkin in it to show how that looks. And we have I saw paintbrush. Royce. Royce said, paint this one? Yeah. Royce said, I buy my rolls from a local baker and have one of our turkeys smoked by a local barbecue guy. <gasps> that is such an awesome tip, Royce, because yes. two things. Wow, you like your tip way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Sorry, but I'll she's right. Next time. You're supporting she's local right. business awesome. and saving yourself a time to put in the places where you know you're, it's going to serve you better. So yeah, that's awesome. Instead of Rayleigh's, they don't need your Nothing help. against Rayleigh's, but, <laughs> but when you can do that, that's cool. I it mean, is. Aaron and I have recent in recent years, I should say, um, kind of shifted our mindset about you know, spending a little more when we can to support local businesses because you're literally putting back into your own community. So yeah, I can say, okay, this is a little more, but this is going to a family we know yep. and supporting their business. Exactly. And I love that. So. And I also like to do that in my own community. It's so fun uh, to shop. I started, instead of going to Target, I will we'll run to our local Boutique, Bella, yeah. uh, Bell, I just went blank on the name. Oh, Bayabel, Bayabel Boutique in Lincoln, California. Fabulous little boutique. Tracy they might ship. says, I shop in advance, so all expenses occur at the same time. I can make my make ahead potatoes about one to two days in advance, and I make my rolls and stuffing dressing the night before, so they are ready to go. That's a great tip, Tracy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. So many things can be frozen and they taste just as good. Okay, this is really turning out beautifully. I am loving oh, yeah. this. It definitely, it definitely that terracotta. Yep. I it's looking it. the terracotta. The whitewashed terracotta. It's hard to the see. The lighting, lighting. Yeah, the lighting is way. not. That's a little better. There you the go. Light. Is that, that beautiful, beautiful, guys? That and that is, what neat napkin rings, terracotta looking yes. napkin rings, right? I am loving this, Grambo. That is an absolutely fabulous yes. idea. Never done it, never will. But it is a really <laughs> good idea. No, it's I tease. I totally do because the, especially so for me, who admittedly is kind of a control freak about the quality of the food. The mm -hmm. things that I portion out to my kids, and Aaron always jumps into with peeling to potatoes, um, you know, chopping, um, uh, chopping veggies, those type of things that are like you have more margin for like if it's not consistent, it's okay. It doesn't mm -hmm. negatively affect the the quality. That's right. Now, what We've, do you need? Um, the other mold. I just want to show this them one? really quick. So I also uh, under here. There we, go. there we go. So this is our horse and hound mold. And I love the acorns with a little oak leaf. And so again, when I have that extra resin, I poured it into there. And I'm not gonna do this today on camera so that we don't go too much over, but I'm gonna off camera, I'm going to show you guys how to make, maybe I'll do a little reel. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really cute acorn napkin ring with some burlap rope. Oh, that'd be cute. So I'm excited about that, but I wanted to show you which mold that came from. Oh, that is super cute. Okay. Um, so, Josie, where did you get your awesome green glasses? Michelle asked. Before everybody I, asks that. I actually got these. Um, and preface, I've bought some of the, what's the brand that has so many cute Oh, leaders? it's um, Peepers. Peepers. So I've mm -hmm. got a couple pairs of those and I love their glasses. 
Um, but these, I was in actually Tijuana, Mexico, and I didn't, I lost my readers. And so this was a, a, little, a kind of like a Walmart type, it's called Lay. And I went in there and this was there. They didn't have a huge assortment, but mm -hmm. I got them in a little. I know. And of course, those are the ones everybody asks about. So it's a little shop in Tijuana. <laughs> um, the breads were made and frozen, but not baked until I wanted them. The baked goods were made and baked frozen. I had a That's the cool breads. thing about yeah. the breads when you're making yeast breads mm -hmm. is you can, after your first rise, and most recipes call for two risings. Um, not all, but most. After your first rise, and then you shape it into the loaves or the rolls or what have you, if you stow it in the fridge, it will continue to rise very, very slowly um, at overnight. It may not rise enough, like it might not double back, but you can take it out and leave it at room temperature for an hour or so um, before it's time to bake. Or if you need to put, mm -hmm. you know, play it by ear, but if you need to put it into a warm spot yeah. to, to rise, you can. But you can basically put it on hold, kind of a, a nice pause in the refrigerator. There's also a brand of yeast rolls that you can buy pre-made, but they're, they, you let them rise. Mm -hmm. You thaw them and let them rise. Mm -hmm. It's like a Bredman's or something like that. It, yeah. It's you find it in the freezer section. True. In the bags and I I like those. They taste like homemade. Well, rolls. there are some things that you the you can get almost as good as homemade. Yeah. Um by with store bought. Right. And um, True. I feel like pumpkin pie is kind of that way. Um, but yeah. if you go to a bakery, you for sure can. Yes. So. And that's another thing we do. We actually buy our pies from a local bakery if we order ahead because I will tell you guys you have to order ahead from good bakeries they sell out quickly yeah, they do. so and they take their holiday orders like it's it might even be too late now that reminds me we need to do that not because for Christmas not for Christmas for Thanksgiving but possibly for Thanksgiving yeah yeah oh some things you can make so I make this um cranberry cranberries like it's got all kinds of stuff in it and everybody loves it you could make oh, that it's so good. a week in Fresh advance ginger. and let it sit because yeah. all of the things it gets just better. melt and it gets better. It Aaron gets eats better. it after. It's his favorite thing and he eats it on vanilla ice cream after Ooh, the holidays. yummy. Yeah, it's got yeah. pineapple and orange zest. And dressing, fresh cranberries. And mandarins. And, and ginger. And ginger. Fresh ginger. Yes, it's awesome. Yeah. I'll try to it's um, really I'll good. put together oh, the recipe yeah. and share it with y'all. Good idea. Maybe as we put this... Um, video up as a blog post will include the recipe not just for the paint color but for Josie's um what do you call it again it's dressing cranberry cranberry sauce cranberry sauce yeah. yeah cranberry sauce so 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 good okay you guys it has been so much fun hanging out with you um it did not disappoint i've been looking forward to it all week and it was just as fun as i knew it would be it and we really enjoy this and we will see you guys back here this time in a couple weeks we're doing every other week um and we'll have more just things to chat about and fun projects to do who knows that'll be like right before thanksgiving so maybe we'll be talking about christmas stuff who knows but thank you for all of your input and let us know in the comments what you think or if this like uh just hit a nerve or actually yeah. was a blessing to you just let us know keep the conversation going and we will definitely be checking the comments and uh conversing with you guys so thanks a lot mm -hmm. you guys have an awesome week Bye.